Olá a todos! Shopping seems like a very simple activity when all we need to do is grab a package of something from the shelf, prateleira, and put it in the cart, carrinho. Let me walk you through a list of essential vocabulary used when shopping, focusing on types of packaging or ways to buy or order food. If you are learning Portuguese and have interest in the Portuguese language, don't forget to subscribe to follow my content. To access my premium content and all my perks, check out my Patreon page. E agora, vamos às compras! First, I wanted to clarify that in Portuguese, the words mercado and supermercado aren't synonyms like in English with market and supermarket. For us, mercado is a farmer's market and a supermercado a grocery store. Many students aren't aware of this difference. Many things in Portugal are bought in packages. Pacote is the word. Here are some things you can buy in pacotes. Um pacote de massa, pasta, arroz, rice, açúcar, sugar, farinha, flour, light, milk, manteiga, butter. It's interesting that we use the word pacote much more than package is used in English. So if you're buying butter in Portugal, you will hear locals say Vou comprar um pacote de manteiga as often as Vou comprar manteiga. We also use the word pacote to differentiate similar things. For example, French fries in Portuguese is batatas fritas. But if you're buying chips, which has the same word, to clarify, we say batatas fritas de pacote. Items such as fósforos, matches, morangos, strawberries, or bonbons, chocolate bonbons, are usually sold in boxes, caixas. So when referring to those, we say uma caixa de fósforos ou uma caixa de bonbons. Um saco, a bag, a bag of something is what you ask for when items are previously weighted and packed before being sold. Um saco de batatas, potatoes, cenouras, carrots, ou maçãs, apples. Some products are sold in glass containers with a lid, usually when they are liquid or preserved in liquid. These glass containers are called frasco. Jar in English. Attention not to conf be confused with the Portuguese word jarro, which refers to a water pitcher or carafe. So you can buy um frasco de grão de bico cozido, boiled chickpeas, compota, jam, ou mel, honey. Metal containers as cans, latas, are very traditional in Portugal. Here are some examples. Uma lata de sardinhas, sardines, de atum, tuna, e de feijão, beans. Another type of glass or plastic container used for packaging liquids is the bottle, garrafa. We can ask in Portuguese for uma garrafa de azeite, olive oil, de água, water, ou de vinho, wine. For shampoo, shampoo, conditioner, amaciador, detergents, detergentes, toilet paper, papel higiênico, we often use the very generic word embalagem, which varies between packet, packaging, container. As in English, some things are asked by the dozen or by the half dozen. This is the case with eggs. Uma dúzia de ovos, meia dúzia de ovos. For fruit and vegetables, fruta e vegetais, we often buy it by weight and we order in kilograms, kilogramas. 
The word quilograma is usually shortened to quilo. So we can order um quilo de peras, pears, or cebolas, onions. We don't need quilos for some foods like cheese or ham. That would be too much. For those cold meats and cheeses, we use grams. 250 gramas de fiambre, ham, or 150 gramas de queijo, cheese. In other cases, you may want to buy a slice, fatia, like a slice of cake. Here are other items we order by slice. Uma fatia de pizza, pizza, de melão, melon, ou de melancia, watermelon. What about that undefined unit of measure, some, a few, candies, for example, peanuts, or other products that you want in a small, unspecified quantity? In English, we say a handful. In Portuguese, we say the equivalent, uma mão cheia, a handful of salty snacks, aperitivos salgados, or lupini beans, tremosos, while drinking a beer with friends. For a bunch of bananas or grapes, we have a specific word, cacho, um cacho de bananas ou um cacho de uvas. As you probably know, I am a big fan of students writing lists to learn vocabulary and verbs. I have a whole video about the benefits of writing lists, including the importance of shopping lists. Now that you learned all this new vocabulary, I suggest you start including these words in your lists as well. So instead of writing manteiga, fiambre, ovos, bananas, feijão, batatas e papel higiênico, try writing um pacote de manteiga, 250 gramas de fiambre, meia dúzia de ovos, um cacho de bananas, uma lata de feijão, um saco de batatas e uma embalagem de papel higiênico. Share with me in the comments below your next shopping list. Até à próxima!